All right, well, it turns out we could all be wrong when it comes to self checkout machines. Well, many of them, well, many of us find them to be a faster, more efficient way to pay for our purchases. Research actually says otherwise. Matt King explains. Faster? That's faster. Faster. Oh, that's much faster. The perception held by nearly 90% of shoppers, according to some research, that self checkouts get you out of the store faster than waiting for a cashier, a perception likely driven by the motion we experience while scanning items for ourselves, with an assist to the social distancing requirements and preferences during this pandemic, saw the global self checkout market go to $3.5 billion last year, with estimates projecting that total to triple by 2030. Perception is reality. But the more analytic reality of whether doing it ourselves actually speeds up lines, scanning, bagging, and leaving appears much murkier. It just gets too confusing and I get nervous with it. A Canadian Broadcasting Commission experiment found professional cashiers scanned a cart full of items more efficiently than did us amateurs. And when the self-checkout kiosks malfunction, we delay that scanning process even further by waiting for a human to fix the machine. There's always a problem with self-checkout. Queuing theory tells us a single giant line gets the average shopper to their final destination more quickly than individual lines at individual kiosks. In this respect, self-checkout, where customers often unspokenly form a single line for all the scanning stations, probably gets shoppers to the scanning and bagging portion of the process more quickly than waiting for a traditional human cashier. My mom usually does self-checkout because she doesn't like the long lines. While self-service kiosks allow some stores to save on payroll, Cardfellow analysis found right now the upfront and long-term maintenance costs of self-checkout machines often cost more than paying to staff and maintain a cash register. While University of Leicester study found self-checkout lanes double the store's loss rate of stolen or miscounted goods. I'm not used to self-checkout. But with more kiosks in more places everywhere in the world, it seems likely more of us will grow more accustomed to checking in and checking out ourselves. I feel really, you know, like I've accomplished something. While RFID systems like Amazon Go promise to speed up the checkout process still further, not only in our perception, but perhaps also in reality. On the West Side, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.